Welcome back to the Brick Post Show. My name's Greg, and today we have a very special treat. It's the new Crocodile Locomotive from Lego. Um, I'm not really too clued up on trains, so do forgive me if I'm getting the details wrong. Um, it's in the new 18 plus range with the stylish black box. Um, it's got 1,271 pieces. The item number is 10277. Um, first impressions are looks quite nice. I really like the brown, the brown they've used, the reddish brown, and the actual display display track looks looks quite nice, quite nifty. Uh, it's 52 centimeters long, and it also depicts the powered up functions that you need to obviously get the thing moving. Um, yeah, I believe it was first produced in the 1920s for the Swiss Federal Railways and then it probably moved around Europe and India, I, I suspect. Um, I've read it's based on a Class CE2 locomotive. Again, I'm, I'm not too crewed up on trains, but I'm sure that means something to someone. Um, yeah. Recently getting into trains myself, Lego trains. I've got the Hogwarts Express, I've got the Lego City um, train, which I quite like building and running around the track, so I'm gonna add this to the collection. Uh, I'm gonna speed build it for you now and tell you my thoughts at the end. Stay tuned. That's the box opened and there are 10 bags in total uh, only numbered one to four so you get two bags number one two bags number two two bags number three three bags number four and then like a bag of base plates and train wheels basically so then you get a very swish uh, instruction booklet again it's in the black finish the 18 plus, which I quite like. It's a bit easier on the eyes. Um, just flicking through some of the bits, because it's a brown, mostly brown and greys and blacks, against the black pages it does kind of get a little bit lost. So yeah, gonna see how tricky that will be. Right, let's get building.
277 all built and finished um, a couple of bad points in a way just to get out of the way first these two one by uh, two by four tiles on top here are kind of just precariously not really held on much really um, yeah it, it kind of finishes the curve on the on the engines there but I mean they're not really not really held on by much and the other thing is, again, sticking with these two, after you've built this one, it says times two, which is quite understandable because they're, they're exactly the same. But it's just when you get to something this size of a build and it says times two, it's kind of annoying, really, in my opinion. Um, apart from that, nothing else to, to grumble about. It's, it's a very nice train. I've got lots of detail on here, you've got the pantograph on here, each side, quite adjustable. As, as I was building these two, they kind of looked like mechanical spiders, I thought it was quite cool. Um, get two minifigures, got the male train driver and the female train driver. He's got a, a red toolbox and she's got a chrome silver spanner or wrench. Uh, the two torsos are identical and they are originally a print for Alan Grant off of Jurassic Park. So quite nice to get that but slightly different. Um, if you pop the roof off, here on top there look we've got the, the red whip pieces. Quite nice to have them in red. Inside the train itself, each side we have identical 
like workstations or driving stations. We've got two, two dials, a, uh, a wheel, a brake, and a place to hang the toolbox and the wrench. It's just slots basically on top like that. There's no, there's a couple of studs there to hold it in place, but not much. Um, yeah, I've not got the motor for this as yet, but I may play about with putting a, a standard power function in there somehow. There are instructions in the in instruction manual, but it, it seems very um. They've kind of done it the long way round in a way to take out the the innards of the train itself, rejig it about a bit, and but then put the motor in. So it's not like it's it's not like it's just plonk the motor in and it's done. Really, it's kind of a need to play about with it, even with the official instructions. Yeah, I mean, I really like this train. It's going to go on my shelf, and you've got the the printed sign here. Oh, not printed, sorry, it's a sticker. That's the only sticker in the set. Um, it's got the details on. It's kind of similar to the uh, UCS Star Wars sets that you get, which makes this quite a unique display piece because apart from Star Wars, Lego haven't done uh, this really. This kind of thing for an adult, the adult scene yet. But yeah, I mean it's quite it's quite good. I like it. I'm gonna put the motor in it, like I said, try and make it go around the track a couple of times, see how it turns, see how it functions. Yeah, I mean another great job from Lego. I've just laid a very basic bit of track down. It's not a complete circuit. Um, just want to see how it turned on the corners really. From the looks of it, it obviously will function as a real train because that's what Lego has intended. It's got a very satisfying um, bend to it. Obviously when you up you go up, uh, from the straight into the bend, the first one bends here and obviously the second one follows but it's just it's quite satisfying to watch in a way. And I can't wait to put a motor on it which I will probably do in a separate video. Um, yeah, thank you very much for watching and like and subscribe for more news, reviews and more. Visit thebrickpost.com and I will catch you next time. Thank you for watching.